Many runways have visual glide slope indicators to help pilots during landing approaches. VASI, or Visual Approach Slope Indicator, is a lighting system which provides visual descent information to a runway. Two bar VASIs can be seen from about three to five miles during the day and up to 20 miles at night. When properly positioned on the VASI, the aircraft will have safe obstruction clearance within plus or minus 10 degrees of the extended runway center line and to four nautical miles from the runway threshold. When using VASI, a descent should not be started until the airplane is aligned visually with the runway. The runway or runway lights are used for proper course guidance. The most commonly installed VASI consists of two bars, near and far, situated alongside the runway. The basis of VASI is simply identifying the color difference between red and white. You see either red or white from either bar depending on height. If you see white, you will touch down after passing a beam of that bar. If you see red, you will touch down before passing a beam of that bar. Since the goal is to touch down between the near bar and the far bar, some pilots remember proper orientation with VASI by using the phrase, if you see red over white, you are all right. This means you're on the proper glide path. Unless required for obstruction clearance, all visual glide slope indicators are set to provide a visual glide path that is three degrees to the horizontal. A pilot on the correct glide path using a two-bar VASI would see the far bar as red and the near bar as white. Below the glide path, both bars would be red, and above the glide path, both bars would be white. A system with all light units installed in a single row is called a Precision Approach Path Indicator, spoken PAPI for short. If you can use a VASI, the PAPI is going to be a snap. There are two and four light systems. We'll begin with the two light version. Just like the VASI, what you're shooting for is a combination of red and white. If both lights are white, you are too high. If you see all red, you are too low. The four light PAPI system gives you varying degrees of high and low. The more white you see, the higher you are. The more red you see, the lower you are. If you see all red, you might be dead, a morbid reminder. This is something you don't want to see using a PAPI or a VASI. You may also see a tri-color visual glide slope indicator. It's a single light unit that shows the pilot a three-color visual approach path to the runway on which the indicator is installed. If you're on the glide path, you'll see green. Below the glide path, you'll see red. Above the glide path, you'll see amber. Be aware when using this system. If you descend from green to red, you may see a dark amber color as you transition from green to red. Likewise, as you ascend from red to green, you may see the dark amber color as you transition. The useful range is about one half to one mile during the day and up to five miles at night, depending on visibility conditions. During the day or night, a pilot can experience many different illusions in flight, and some can lead to landing errors. Surface features and atmospheric conditions can create illusions that mislead your ability to properly judge height above and distance from a runway threshold. Some are common to both day and night, and if you remember from Volume 3, they're caused by narrow, wide, upsloping, and downsloping runways and atmospheric conditions such as rain, haze, or snow. At night, there are some additional illusions in flight, and some can lead to landing errors. For example, when landing over darkened areas, the illusion can be that the airplane is higher than it actually is. Also, straight lights along a road can be mistaken for runway lights. Plus, Bright runway lights with few lights illuminating the surrounding area may create the illusion of less distance to the runway. Conversely, dim runway lights with few lights illuminating the surrounding area to provide height information may cause a pilot to fly a lower than normal approach. 
At night, inexperienced pilots often have a tendency to make approaches and landings with excessive airspeed. Every effort should be made to execute the approach and landing in the same manner as during the day. Be aware of these illusions and anticipate them during approaches and use visual glide slope indicators when they're available. 